how big was getting that shutout just for that defense, just to show them that they can do something like that? Yeah, you know, I think it was great for our confidence, um, certainly great for our morale and our, you know, it, it gives us something now to shoot for. Now we've got one, now we can hold that streak. And so there's a, a matter of pride now that you have it, now that you've done it, um, that will really, I think, hopefully inspire this team, that one little bit of extra effort to say, let's keep this shutout streak alive. And, and certainly we're going to go into Friday. Uh, you know, we went into every game saying, you know, we don't want that team to score. But certainly I think now that we've done it, it gives us a little bit more energy to do it again. And will there be any lineup changes heading into conference play? Uh, you know, I don't think so. I think, you know, we've, we've had a lot of different players, especially on the offensive side of things, you know, Ali Osoba, uh, Megan Pawalski. In terms of our starting lineup, um, we certainly can move some players around um, so we get different players at the beginning of the half or the end of the half. But I think you'll you'll find that, you know, what you've seen us play with over the last couple of weeks is what we're going to head into the Big Ten season with. Talk about your talk about all these offensive players that you have. Talk about your offensive versatility and how that's really come along so far this season. Yeah, you know, um, we said coming into this, you know, one of our goals is to get seven players in the game with a shot on frame so that that a team has to defend all of us. And, and we've done that almost every game um, of the season. And, and as a result, we've got different people scoring goals. You know, Janelle scoring a hat trick and now Reagan Robichaud um, should have had or almost had a hat trick. And so, you know, we, we certainly have different people that are comfortable in front of the goal. And one of the things I think is our organization in the box and knowing where people are and knowing what runs they're making, our team is a good offensive team. And it doesn't matter who gets to the end line and who's making the run in the box. They know where each other are because it's a system and a discipline that we have offensively. And that makes us a, a difficult team to defend because you're defending our team, not just defending a person. And, and certainly when you have a player like Vanessa who attracts a lot of attention, you certainly want the players around her to be threats as well because that makes everybody's life more difficult in terms of defending her and defending us. So talk about that maybe offensive philosophy and that system. You know, what do you try to do to really uh, you know, put these players in the best position to succeed offensively? Well, I think you said it. You put them in the best position to score goals. So you talk about framing the goal. You talk about where your body position is. You talk about where the serve comes from. And what gives us the highest percentage of shot, highest percentage of uh, getting a, a person free in the box. And so we certainly organize our team to give us the greatest um, – likelihood of scoring goals based on where we are in the box, where the ball is coming from, where the goalkeeper's positioned, and those sorts of things make a difference. Um, you know, like anything else, scoring goals is not easy. That goal looks a lot bigger than it is than, than when you're playing. And so um, certainly little things like that, making sure we seal the near post, making sure we frame the far post, making sure we try to get to the end line and play balls in the seams that are created certainly helps us. Um, this weekend coming up, you have Ohio State and Michelle Prince their star player with five goals and four assists so far. Um, are you planning on having a specific um, player counter that threat or more of a team effort? Um, I think it's always a team effort for us. I think any time you take a player and have them mark someone, um, you take a player out of out of the game. And, you know, certainly that isn't the style or the system that we play. So it will certainly be a team effort. Um, I think like anyone, like Rachel Tejada from Illinois State or any team that relies on someone to score goals, certainly we're going to be aware of her and know that she's their dangerous threat. And, and we're going to make sure that someone is always aware of where she is and someone is always close enough to be able to um, defend, but it won't necessarily be the same person. Um, it will be um, our team that takes that responsibility on.